I'm Mike, this is Jess, and welcome to Goodwin's Farm 207. So today's video is going to be a little bit different again. Um, we actually did a presentation at the Windsor Fair a few weeks back. Apologies, the video is late getting out to you, but as with everything in our life, it's been a little crazy. Yeah, the Windsor Fair is a, a week-long um, agricultural type event that's very popular here in the state of Maine. Um, just did a wonderful presentation about livestock guardian dogs, which you'll get to see clips of here in a little bit. Yeah, it was pretty um, surreal for me to be able to go and do that. Um, I grew up just down the road from the Windsor Fair, so it's been a big part of my life since I was a kid. Um, and being a long-time Windsor resident for most of my life again, it was pretty exciting. Yeah, so we hope you enjoy this video, and thanks for watching. Livestock guardian dogs are incredibly important animals. These remarkable creatures play a crucial role in protecting livestock and are an invaluable asset to farmers and ranchers around the world. Livestock guardian dogs, or LGDs, have been used for centuries to protect livestock from predators such as wolves, coyotes, and bears. These dogs are bred and trained to live with the animals they protect, forming a strong bond and a deep sense of loyalty to their charges. One of the most remarkable aspects of livestock guardian dogs is their ability to deter predators simply by their presence. The mere sight and scent of these large imposing dogs is often enough to keep predators at bay. However, if a predator does approach, these dogs are more than capable of defending their flock or herd, often putting themselves in harm's way to protect the animals under their care. What sets livestock guardian dogs apart from other breeds is their independence. Unlike herding dogs, which work closely with humans to manage livestock, LGDs are bred to work autonomously, making decisions based on their instincts and training. This independence makes them well suited to the task of protecting livestock as they are able to patrol large areas and make split-second decisions to keep their charges safe. Furthermore, these dogs are incredibly adaptable, thriving in a variety of climates and terrains. From the rugged mountains of the Pyrenees to the vast plains of the American West, these dogs have proven themselves to be versatile and effective guardians. In addition to their protective instincts, livestock guardian dogs are known for their gentle and loving nature with the animals under their care. They form strong bonds with the livestock, earning their trust and respect. This gentle demeanor is a testament to the intelligence and emotional depth of these remarkable animals. Livestock guardian dogs are an indispensable tool for farmers and ranchers, playing a critical role in protecting livestock and ensuring the success of agricultural operations. Their innate protective instincts, independence, adaptability, and gentle nature make them an invaluable asset to those who work with livestock. It's clear that the bond between these dogs and the animals they protect runs deep, and it is a bond that has been forged through centuries of shared labor and mutual respect. Well, that's a wrap for this video yeah we hope you enjoyed it again you know it was uh, pretty exciting for us to be able to share about our dogs and livestock guardian dogs in general as most of you know I'm very passionate about livestock guardian dogs and I just absolutely love them we had some puppies over the summer which was just an absolutely incredible experience for me um, 
and we we did keep a couple of them that's why we we bred them was because we needed some more dogs for our planned goat herd expansion and please stay tuned we will be doing some videos of their training where they're at i will have to say they are just doing absolutely phenomenal every puppy from this litter we've gotten nothing but really positive feedback they just kind of took to their jobs really easily um, and again you know they're puppies they're not fully trained or anything at this point but it is still nice to know that they've integrated pretty well um, and even the two that we kept we're sisters and sometimes siblings can be hard to keep um, and they've just been doing phenomenal even at this early stage again there we still have the teenage years to deal with so there's definitely a lot more training to come but stay stick around if there's any specific topics you're struggling with your dogs or you have any questions please comment them below we just as always ask you to keep it respectful because this is a family channel yes and if you're not subscribed please consider uh, that definitely helps us out a lot and thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one.